I'll be darned, it's probably someone's birthday out here. How's it going everyone? My name is Silver, welcome back to the channel. And that's right guys, you're getting not one, not two, but three card fight videos in a day. Well, that's a lie, you're probably only going to get two today. Trial deck part one, and then this. But I have recorded both trial deck videos, and they are both... The second one is in the process of uploading. But that's besides the point. Today, guys, um, there was a stream for Card Fight Vanguard. It sort of came out of left field. Bushiro was like, stream. Okay, stream's over. And they just dropped a new skill on us. Which implies that Card Fight, in, in its entirety, certain clans are changing. And we sort of knew that. So, as you guys know, Tachikaze is a clan in Destructive Roar, and it's getting the Imaginary Gift Mark Excel. And they decided to just drop a new stuff. Well, we got some images I'm going to quickly go over. A Goji and a Nagisa, sort of as their um, Grand Blue units. We got sleeves that no one will probably ever use, let's be honest here. Everyone likes their own unique sleeves, and I hardly ever see the Vanguard sleeves used for anything but a G-Zone. Um, some new units, new grade one. Obviously, my video about Tachikaze having no shield was a joke. But it does introduce the new skill gauge, which we're going to go over here. We also got a new grade two. Looks like our Triceratops friend from generation one uh, of Vanguard is downgraded to grade two. And yeah, that's sort of it. So let's go over the new cards. Um, this has yet to hit Coalition. But it is on the Black Rose. Black Rose must adhere. So this is where I sometimes get news from. Um, yeah. As you guys know, my name is also Aaron. So we're going to try to avoid anything else. And we're just going to zoom in at this point. Boop. Enhance. 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 Just going to keep enhancing. There we go. So, overall, stream reveals, uh, Goji Nagisa, new Tachikaze cards, um, so s we have Sonic, which starts us off, uh, when it's, when it boosts a rear guard, put the top card of your deck as an equipped gauge into the boosted unit face down, when this unit when an attack hits a vanguard and it attack or b boosted cost retire one of your other rear guards and draw a card pretty good thus far um i like this this is i see this being a main card in in the deck with tachikaze uh moving forth assault dragon and its skill is auto when it is retired from rear cost counter blast one and return up to two cards from the this unit's equip gauge to hand. So that's completely new. So how I see this working is that um, obviously you'll boost. You'll have like three or four cards and you'll get to choose. Your opponent won't be able to see those equip gauges. But you will be able to choose from them and keep keep two of them. Um, and then we have Tyrant Deathrex. When it attacks a Vanguard, costs Soul Blast 1 and retire one of your other rear guards. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row and retire. This unit gets 10k power until end of turn for each card in the rear guard's equip gauge that was retired for the cost. Meaning that if I build a card's equip gauge up to 5 cards, I can retire it and get 50k power, which would be super powerful. And this is a van and rear guard skill. So, so as long as you build up a couple front or back rows with your equip gauge, you can activate the skill on the Excel mark and just add a thousand plus to whatever your skill is. Um, we also have the example stuff over here, which if you see, um, it's going through its little thing. Yeah, so you boost, you get the red text. From there, skill activates, the gauge goes in, and that's about it. Um, you're effectively able to use the gauge um, for retire instead of giving like 5k for every regard that's retired. Instead, um, Deathrex is just going to get 50k for retiring one regard. 
if he if that card has five gauge. If he was to retire this, he get would one k, which wouldn't necessarily be a bonus. Um, big things I'm seeing with this format is deck thinging. Um, and unfortunately, no G units currently in the series from the G series can benefit from this deck. For, or from this new play style. So it will be interesting. But this only further proves that there are cards changing within the game or how some clans are going to work. Aqua Force was known for its multiple attacks and restanding. And its form of wave attacks. That may no longer be the case. Dimension Police Robos were known for retiring units from rear guard. Or from guard circle. That may no longer be a thing. We are going to see a big overhaul to the game, and I am honestly excited for it and a little scared because it is affecting the game positively slash negatively. Um, some people like this, some people don't. Until next time, though, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of the new gauge mechanic. I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.